Kiora Aquarians around the world, welcome to your November Taroscope reading with me. I hope wherever you are listening, you are fine and well and have some time to sit back and hear what the messages for November are going to be. We have these three nice stones in the back of the reading. This is a blue beautiful sandstone healing point. This is a agate firestone heart shaped crystal and this is a fluorite octahedron. Let's just give a little bit of shuffling in the deck and see what's coming your way Aquarius for November 2015. We're going to use the same format as last month, that's five cards at using the Rider Waite deck and you will have an energy card at the end. So your first card out is the current position you find yourself in at the beginning of November. The second one in is what you expect of life at the moment. The third one is what you don't expect, some sort of surprise. The fourth one is the immediate future. And your fifth card takes us further into December and what the energies are there. Two major arcana cards for you guys. Two pentacles and a cup card. Nice mix. You've got a lot of yellow and sort of a sunny connected feel into the reading as well. Feels like a good reading. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles where you start your current position for November. This is a nice card to start with and he's actually looking into the month and he's holding this pentacle which we often think of as the finances card or careers opportunities card. So perhaps something is coming your way at the very beginning of the month that is either not handed to you but some sort of possible proposition or um, coming your way. So it can be to do with finances, job opportunities, career thoughts, ideas, motivation, moving forward, new beginnings. That's generally what the nights are. Sometimes this can also mean a new person coming into your life and it could be a um, earth sign energy type person such as the Taurians, the Capricorns or the Virgos. They may have a role to play in this as well. So that's a nice way as I say to start your month. Plenty of positive energy around this financial sector of one's life. We come into the next card which is what you expect out of life at moment, at the moment and I have to say Aquarians this is a pretty high expectation and it's a great card, it's a magnificent place to be, how wonderful that you should perhaps have these feelings around at the moment that life is being benevolent to you, it's as if you have a guardian angel over your shoulder and that you're getting extra support from the universe doors may open when you least expect, opportunities may come your way, you may meet new people who become very special to you, you may be going on a journey of um, spiritual and physical newness or in, you know, looking at things from a different way, engaging differently, new ideas popping into your mind, creativity, it's one of the best cards in the deck from that perspective. It does talk a little bit about creating balance as well. She's um, pouring water a little bit like the Aquarius water bearer. She's pouring water from her jug into the pool and likewise onto the ground. So water plays a little bit of a part as well. Make sure you're hydrating yourselves and keeping your bodies freely flowing. Also being by water might be really beneficial whether you spend time by lakes, rivers or oceans might be a nice thing for you. Grounding yourself outside will be also helpful, getting some fresh air. The third card for you guys is what you didn't expect, a surprise, and we see this here as what we call kind of new romance or new heartfelt tender relationships that are bonding together. So perhaps if you're in a relationship already, your relationship will reconnect again at a really special level and you'll feel that um, it's like a spiritual connection, a joy, um, a, a connectedness together. There's the possibility that someone new could be walking into your life and it could be a charming relationship 
it doesn't always have to be romantic but it would be bonded together somehow these two are trusting each other they're forming a close alliance or an allegiance they're they're saying i trust you i'll support you so there's this feeling around you it's a really nice feeling of surprise and connectedness to the universe as if you've got support from somewhere coming in especially in this earlier half of november health wise it's good as well um, it feels fairly smooth running along smoothly money wise it has the same feeling of it the card the number twos do talk about balance though and i think here she's also maintaining some sort of balance so if there's any message there that just in the background i'm thinking keep your balance in all areas emotions physical spiritual money everything just balance your life if you can as you move through november the fourth card is the kind of overall energies of November and we see here the Eight of Pentacles. This is a good card because this guy has been working hard and he's slowly, you know, saving all this money. It's accruing. He's achieving his goals step by step. Nice way to kind of be finishing off the end of the year. It feels as if your achievements are taking place and your hard work is reaping the rewards you had a bit of finances ha happening here in November one way or another for you guys and it feels fairly positive. The one thing I could say from a health perspective is I often think of these as the chakra wheels and he's got this one off the out and he's working on it and I often think of it as being this color here around the sacral and base chakra which we talked about getting back out to earth and outside and being around nature and grounding yourself a little bit, which you might have to do because there's plenty of universal energies happening and that kind of upbeat feeling. But I think some of this base chakra energy needs a bit of action and grounding for you, which would be good as well. We come here and we move into the fifth card, which is where December is taking you. And we see the hermit. A lot of people think, oh, that looks a bit grey and boring. <laughs> it's not. It's actually a card of illumination. This lamp is one of the most important parts of the card. Yes, he goes to spend a little bit of time alone. It might be after this really busy, prosperous, exciting energy month that you go, cool, oh, I need to think about things. I need to reconnect myself and re-energise myself. And often people do that by contemplating what's happened, where they're going to go in the future, taking some quiet time out alone with their thoughts. And of course, you guys are known as the thinkers. So it feels as though you re retrace yourself back in a, into your own psyche a little bit and re-go over some directions in your life. But you come out with this illumination. So that's what the feeling of December has retracing your steps maybe thinking a little bit more deeply reconnecting with your spirituality finding time alone enjoying your mind and your thoughts and your power to that and being yeah illuminated so i think overall that is actually quite a powerful reading leading you into december into you know a fairly thoughtful positive place what we will do for the final card is one of these beautiful chakra balancing cards and I'll just give them a quick shuffle and then we will pick one out and see what your message is insight which is what you're going to be doing as you go into December with the um, with the I'm just looking for him here and it would take a while but with the hermit that's your inside understanding awakening awareness and self-evaluation I love it when the readings are so you know profoundly connected one way or another so that is the kind of the the third eye area or the um, purple chakra area and this actually fits really well with that as well so I will read the messages from the book for you because they are well worth contemplating and hearing the words 
the words alone are um, sort of like a meditation. Recognize the higher truth beyond apparent limits. Honor the path you have walked so far and all you have become. Know thyself. The card story. Cradled at the base of a circular window with her back to the wide expanse of stars beyond. A woman sits in silent meditation. Grounded by her breath and the ancient stone beneath her, she is a clear channel of quiet knowing. With her inner eye focused and her heart brightly opened, she basks in the vision of her own truth. Rays of universal light shine on through inside. Now here is the message of the card. This card is about self-evaluation and self-understanding. In our modern world there is so much sharing of information through such a wide variety of mediums, internet, phone, TV, radio, etc. that we can quickly fall into the habit of looking outside of ourselves for the answers that we seek. We value others' opinions beyond our own to know what to eat, how to act, how to dream, where to live and who to love. Taking time to truly know ourselves expands our awareness. It makes it easier to grow from our experiences. Not only does it give us strength of character, but it allows us a greater understanding of other people and our surroundings. Allowing us to see beyond surface circumstances into the deeper currents within. This is insight. It is time to cultivate insight by honestly examining who you are, your past journey and who you have now become. It is also time to claim your divine capacity and responsibility to see beyond the current you and to recognise your unique truth and potential. With a, clear, with a clearness of non-judgment, consider your experiences, your relationships and the lifestyle you lead. Reflect upon the experiences that have most strongly influenced your path. What traits and habits have you developed, inherited and absorbed along the way? What masks have you learned to wear to be safe in the world? Are you living in alignment with the person you truly came here to be? Some aspects you will love about yourself and these may be your strengths. If there are some you are not proud of, then this is the first step to deciding how you may like to change certain aspects about how you are living. Insight allows you to choose to change or shift your path in a positive and fulfilling direction. Through the lens of insight, we are able to make better choices in our life and to create a future we desire. We are able to be the best version of ourselves that we can be. Insight allows empathy, understanding and compassion for other people which can only benefit any relationship we choose to engage in. Insight raises your consciousness, adding a spark to the ever unfolding light of universal consciousness. That's a beautiful, beautiful message to end for you Aquarius, to end a really beautiful reading towards, as I say, the end of the energies of 2015. So thank you all for tuning in and enjoying these videos. I love reading your comments and I love that you follow them. I am honoured. It's a privilege. So until I see you again for December's readings, the final one of the year, take care, enlighten yourselves, have much insight. Ka kitea noa. Much aroha. Namaste.